It was not that long ago that digital artists had a hard time working on the go. I've been drawing digitally for over 10 years now, and in that time I've used many different tablets. The mobile drawing experience was always frustrating or compromised in some way. It was only with the release of devices like the Microsoft Surface and iPad Pro that I felt confident in my ability to draw however, wherever, and whenever I wanted. It still amazes me today that I can take just an iPad to a cafe and draw the same way I do at home, something I only dreamed of 10 years ago. And now, that experience is on a tablet smaller than most sketchbooks. The iPad Mini 5 is the iOS drawing experience I've come to rely on, only in a smaller package. If you've drawn on an iPad before, it will be easy to pick up and get drawing on the Mini 5. Over the years, iOS has gotten some amazing drawing apps, and I'm happy to say that the Mini 5 runs them all smoothly. I experience no issues, and feel like the Mini can take just about anything you can throw at it, especially when it comes to illustration and comics. The experience is uncompromised. I never had any slowdown or crashes and was able to draw the way I always do. That is, 50 plus layers on an A4 350 dpi canvas in Clip Studio Paint. If you could only have one iPad, this might not be the one for you. If you don't have a commute or rarely draw outside the house, the Mini really does lose its appeal rather quickly. It is possible to make great art with the Mini, but you are limiting yourself a great deal if you intend to mainly use the Mini at home. The other iPads in Apple's lineup do have a great balance between portability and size, but it was always a conscious decision to take them on the go, usually entailing a bag, keyboard, stand, and charger. But the Mini 5 doesn't feel constrained to the same rules. It's less of a conscious decision and more of a constant companion. The Mini is there for you whenever you have a spark of creativity. I don't have to decide whether I take it with me, because I'm always taking it with me. I put together a small kit of accessories that really highlights the Mini's strong suits and lets me work smarter, not harder. In my experience, the smart cover is enough to support the weight of my hand, and the angle for drawing is decent, but results may vary. Instead of a keyboard, I found this Bluetooth controller works wonders for the shortcuts and commands I use the most. I took a more detailed look at this controller, and I'll put the link to that video in the description. Keeping the kit small and simple, I've been able to draw pieces like this, and feel comfortable in what I can do with the mini while traveling. Even in and around the house, I've been using the Mini to do my sketches and line work. When I feel the limitations of the Mini, it's very easy to switch over to a more capable device. This workflow is very refreshing, and what I was hoping for years ago when I was using those old tablet PCs. In conclusion, this is the best drawing experience on a tablet this size. Until there are larger form factor and software changes, I don't think it can get better than this. Sure, a liquid retina screen would be nice, and so would the new Apple Pencil, but I feel like those are only marginal improvements. The Mini is very usable as is, unlike the older tablets in this range that I used. Those tablets were awkward, hot, frustrating, slow, etc. While the Mini doesn't make you think twice, it just works. Its limitations are its advantages. The small form factor lets you take it with you anywhere. iOS is a limited platform, but it allows the Mini to run Clip Studio without a hiccup in something smaller than most sketchbooks. It's just wild. To be able to do what its bigger counterparts can do in such a small package. If you approach the Mini 5 with a mindset that it will be a portable sketchbook, you won't be disappointed. But you'll be pleasantly surprised when you start doing actual work on this thing. If you want the best drawing experience in the smallest package, it's right here. Leave those other tablets at home.